this is a CJ3A from 1949, made by Willys, Willys Overland of uh, Toledo, Ohio. With a ride like this, it's easy to assume that's the sole reason Rich Margate for years has turned heads around the city of Dearborn. This is a small four-cylinder. But the family heirloom on wheels that Rich so lovingly restored. He was my favorite uncle, and he had, he had this on his property. When I was five years old, I remember this. Was really just the chariot to the main attraction. Are we gonna go for a roll? For a ride? <laughs> All right, here we go. And that would be Alaskan Malamute duo Cheyenne and Yukon. I'm not such a celebrity. I just uh, ride their coattails. You know, everybody wants to see the dogs. When we caught up with them in the spring, we didn't realize it would be one of their last adventures as a trio. Yukon would pass away just a few short weeks later. With the wind in their hair and Rich at the helm, littermates Cheyenne and Yukon seem to relish their daily cruises around town. Well, I put them in right away as babies. And they never wanted to jump out in 11 years. They, they have good balance. I drive carefully. And maybe a lot of people don't like the idea of having an open Jeep with, with dogs in it, but they're, they're safe. And people took notice. There was even that one time Yukon almost got off on the wrong paw with former president Bill Clinton. He didn't extend his arm and he went right up to almost to hug Yukon. But when I looked at my pictures, I saw Yukon's eyes getting ready to snap. He was actually getting ready to snap and, and give uh, President Clinton a fat lip. Luckily, the crisis was averted and Rich got the dog's tags to encourage people to ask before they pet. <laughs> But before Cheyenne and Yukon, there was Wooly, the OG of Rich's Alaskan Malamutes to ride in the classic Willie's Jeep. In fact, Rich has had quite a few dogs over the years, rescuing his first Alaskan Malamute, Jason, while he was on patrol working for the Dearborn Police Department. And then there was that one time he made a trade. I had a 65 GTO that I was getting tires for. At the tire store, there was a little baby Alaskan Malamute running around. I found the owner of the Alaskan Malamute and I asked him if he would trade for the GTO and he did. So he got a GTO and I got a female puppy. But Rich says these Malamutes, number 10 and 11, were extra special. When I got them, my, my wife was, was ailing. About two months after I got them, she ended up in the hospital, never came out. A, a piece of hers with my two, two puppies. Now, through another loss, Rich cruises on, fueled by the memories of his beloved Yukon and the adventures yet to come.